they got to get this interacting. This is the real stuff right here. My name is David Myers. I work internal cargo and special operations. Today we're going to be testing a new uh, vehicle for SOCOM. This is the SERV, the clandestine electronic reconnaissance vehicle. We'll be looking at how much it weighs, make sure that it can fit inside the back end of a V-22, be able to drive on and drive off. Let's head down. We're going to take some measurements of the vehicle. It has to fit within a certain size box for transport in the back of V-22. Put a level on it. But we have to make sure it fits so it doesn't break anything when it goes in. We can measure the back. Yeah, for the V-22 and any aircraft, there's a wheel weight limit and an axle weight limit. No, you need to go forward more. So we have to weigh and make sure that the vehicle's not over that limit, as well as the gross weight of the vehicle's not over the, the limit. I'm good. Now we're measuring the, the footprint of the heaviest tire to make sure that the area of the tire doesn't exceed the floor limitations of the aircraft. You're just starting to get on it. Keep going, keep going, you're good. We're here in the mock-up of the V-22 cabin. Somewhat of a unique capability that we have that's been built up here in the lab and it saved the V-22 program a lot of money. There, there's one thing to, to go from the, the theory of will a vehicle fit to actually fitting a vehicle. So we do a lot of iterations in and out to make sure that this vehicle, no matter what condition it is when it, it shows up to the aircraft, it can be loaded without any problems. Fantastic. We drive it in and then we test these tie-down patterns. This is a proposed tie-down pattern. You know, use these two sets. And well, and let's go up front and see where we're at up there. By certifying these vehicles, then we enhance the operational readiness of the ground users to be able to transport these vehicles around in country and be able to give them more capabilities out in the field.